Welcome, chess enthusiasts, to another exciting episode of our chess adventures. Prepare to enter a world of strategy, tactics, and mind-bending maneuvers as we dive into the captivating realm of chess. Whether you're a seasoned player seeking new insights or a curious beginner ready to explore the wonders of the game, you've come to the right place. Get ready to witness electrifying battles on the board and unravel the secrets of masterful moves. So, grab your favorite chess set, sit back, and let's embark on this thrilling journey together. Today, we have an exciting encounter between players, Ikwin underscore Nazir, and W-I-N-E-R-I-S-M-Y-P-L-A-Y, on chess.com. Let's dive into the moves and analyze the strategic choices made by both players. 1. E4 E5 The game starts with a traditional double king's pawn opening. 2. Nf3 Nc6 Both players develop their knights, following standard opening principles. 3. Bc4 Nf6 Here, we have the Italian game, with black opting for the solid and reliable two knights defense. 4. Nc3 Bc5 Both players continue with their development, mirroring each other's moves. The Giwoko Piano is an Italian term meaning, quiet game, indicating a relatively calm and strategic approach to the opening. It is one of the oldest and most traditional openings in chess, dating back to the 16th century. The Four Knights variation, as seen in this game, is a common continuation within the Giwoko Piano. The moves played so far demonstrate a symmetrical structure, with each player developing their knights and bishops to active squares. White's third move, bc4, attacks black's e5 pawn, and in response, black plays bc5 to mirror white's setup. This creates a balanced position where both sides have established a solid foothold in the center. The four knights game is characterized by flexible pawn structures and the potential for intricate maneuvering. From this point, players have multiple options to continue the development and fight for control of the center. One possible continuation for white is 5. D3, preparing to reinforce the center with moves like C3 and D4. Another option is 5. Oh oh, castling kingside to ensure the safety of the king and potentially supporting a future pawn storm on the kingside. Similarly, black has various choices. For instance, 5. D6 aims to solidify the pawn on E5 and prepare for further development. Alternatively, 5. Oo castles kingside, safeguarding the king and preparing for active peace play. The Giwoko Piano game, Four Knights game offers both players a chance to establish a solid foundation and plan their subsequent moves strategically. It allows for a balanced and flexible position, providing opportunities for both tactical strikes and long-term strategic plans. It is important to note that this opening is just the beginning of the game, and the true outcome will depend on the player's subsequent decisions and their ability to adapt to the evolving position. Continue to the game. 5. D4, Nx D4 White sacrifices a pawn with a tactical shot, aiming to disrupt Black's position. 6. Nx D4, Ex D4 Black accepts the pawn offer, grabbing material advantage. However, it comes at the cost of weakening their position. 7. Na4 Qe7 White launches an aggressive attack on Black's Queen, forcing it to retreat. 8. Oo Nx E4 White opts to castle, securing the king's safety, while Black captures another pawn. 9. Bd3 Nf6 Black's Knight retreats, attempting to defend the exposed E4 Knight. 10. Re1 Ne4 White unleashes a powerful discovered attack, targeting the pinned knight. 11. Rx e4 Qx e4 Black sacrifices the queen to break the pin and create counterplay opportunities. 12. Bx e4 Oo White proceeds to castle, completing the development and safeguarding the king. 13. Nx c5 re8 Black places pressure on the e-file, pinning White's rook to the king. 14. F3 d6 White reinforces the center with a pawn move, and Black expands on the queen side. 15. N3b5 Both players maneuver their pieces, preparing for the middle game battle. 16. Bf4 Rb8 White advances the bishop, aiming to put more pressure on Black's position. 17. Nb4 F6 Black tries to challenge White's advancing knight, creating space for their pieces. 18. Nc6 Rb6 White maintains the initiative, attacking the rook and forcing it to move. 
19. Na5 Ra6 Black tries to maintain activity by attacking White's pieces. 20. Nc6 Rb6 White declined to exchange rooks and maintains the pressure on Black's position. 21. Qd3 Re6 White skillfully maneuvers the queen, eyeing potential threats. 22. Bx H7 Kf7 White sacrifices the bishop, delivering a check, and aiming to expose Black's king. 23. Bg6 kg 8 Black's king is forced to the center under severe pressure. 24. End 8 Re7 White skillfully retreats the knight, making way for further attacking prospects. 25. Bf7 Kh8 White's bishop delivers a decisive check, driving the king to a vulnerable square. 26. Qg6 Bd7 White intensifies the attack, bringing more pieces into the action. 27. Qh5 and there it is. White checkmates black with a beautiful queen sacrifice, ending the game in a spectacular fashion. A captivating performance by Iqwen underscore Nazir, demonstrating the importance of tactical awareness, peace coordination, and relentless aggression. This game serves as a reminder of the thrilling possibilities that chess offers. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope you enjoyed this thrilling encounter. In this game between Iqwen underscore Nazir, and, W-I-N-E-R-I-S-M-Y-P-L-A-Y, there are several valuable lessons we can learn. Lesson 1. Awareness of tactical opportunities. White seized the opportunity to sacrifice a pawn on move 5 with d4, aiming to disrupt Black's position. This tactical decision led to an advantageous position and ultimately contributed to the victory. Lesson 2. Peace coordination. Throughout the game, White demonstrated excellent peace coordination. By developing the pieces harmoniously and creating threats, White put constant pressure on Black's position. The coordinated efforts of the pieces played a crucial role in the final checkmate. Lesson 3. Recognizing weaknesses, Black's decision to move the queen early in the opening allowed White to exploit the weak e4 square. White took advantage of this weakness by sacrificing the knight and forcing Black's king into an exposed position. It is essential to be cautious when moving the queen early in the game, as it can lead to exploitable weaknesses. Lesson 4. King safety. White efficiently castled early on, ensuring the safety of the king. Meanwhile, Black's king remained in the center, vulnerable to a devastating attack. This game highlights the importance of prioritizing king safety and timely castling. Lesson 5. Persistence and aggression. White maintained a persistent and aggressive mindset throughout the game. By continually pressuring Black's position and seeking tactical opportunities, White created an environment where mistakes became more likely. This serves as a reminder to stay focused, proactive, and determined in our own chess games. Overall, this game teaches us the significance of tactical awareness, peace coordination, recognizing weaknesses, prioritizing king safety, and maintaining a persistent and aggressive mindset. By incorporating these lessons into our own play, we can enhance our understanding of the game and improve our chances of success. And that wraps up another thrilling episode of our chess escapades. We hope you enjoyed delving into the intricacies of the game and uncovering hidden gems of strategy. Now, we want to hear from you. If you have a game you'd like us to analyze or if you want to share your chess triumphs or challenges, we'd be delighted to be a part of your chess journey. Simply leave a comment below or reach out to us on our social media channels. Remember, chess is not just a game, it's a community of passionate minds united by their love for the royal game. Until next time, keep honing your skills, stay inspired, and may every move bring you closer to victory. Stay tuned for more exciting chess content, and as always, checkmate awaits!